chit chat with cutie that's what they said yep chit chat with qt was killing chit chat with qt for all of this tea hey guys welcome to chit chat with qt let me give my disclaimer the views that i express are my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only and everything is alleged please make sure to like the video hit that notification bell and subscribe So let's get into this video, guys. I wanted to share Mel's live uh, that she held this morning on Instagram in case any of you missed it and did not catch it live. Let me say this. This is why we all love us a Mel. Mel has a gift. She really, really does. She spoke on pushing through now, you guys know a couple days ago, she made a post in her stories about pushing through and she went into a little more detail in this live. She also gave encouragement for other women, men, whomever to continue to push through. And I see why male oftentimes have events where she's the motivational speaker. Like I said, she has a gift. So I want you guys to take a look at the live. It was so very encouraging. The YouTube bloggers were there in full effect. And it was absolutely a great message for us all this morning. Take a look. I'll be back at the end with a little more commentary. You was lit, sis. When? I was where? When? <laughs> When? Good morning from Louisiana. Okay, y'all up in here. Mel, you did such a great job performing. Oh, thank you. Um, You know, I actually, for me, the biggest piece or what I love the most is like really afterwards getting a chance to like talk with supporters and take pictures with y'all and, you know, um, just, you know, it's great because there are so many people online that I feel like I connect with and I get a chance to kind of like talk to this way, like by way of live. So when I get a chance to meet them in person and connect with people in real, real life, that's the part I love. I love that part um, because it's like, you know, people be so genuine and um, just so sweet, so sweet, so sweet. Um, I see Love and Marriage Huntsville Instagram page is on here as well. When are you coming to Chicago? So I'm coming to Chicago. Well, not Chicago, but Illinois. I think it's Rockford. Um, the end of March. So I will be there. I'll post it again today on my story. I'll be in Illinois. Um, I want to say it's it's maybe like maybe March 20 because it's in between my tour dates so it's at the end of March but I'll post it on my story um again so I will be in Illinois hopefully you can come through y'all know I'm going to be in Boston tomorrow so if you are in the Boston area come through when I say man the energy um I always feel like anywhere you go right you having a good time or not is up to you. Like what kind of energy do you bring? Are you coming in to really have a good time? Are you gonna make sure that no matter what, you about to enjoy yourself? Like it's up to you. And when I tell you, when I tell you that everybody in um, Connecticut, were, they were amazing. Like the energy was on point. Those people came to have a good time, honey. They came to turn up. It was a, like, honestly, I wasn't even gonna stay that long after my performance. I was gonna stay a little while, of course, and see, you know, see a little bit of everybody's thing, but I ended up staying, staying. Like staying, staying, because the energy was so bomb. So if you have bought a ticket to come to any of the other shows, 
that I'm a part of, just know it's going to be bomb. And even if you see that I'm not a part of one of Eric's shows and it's near you, go. Trust me, go. You are going to have a good time. Eric killed it up there on that stage. And he's so sweet too. And like all of his other opening acts, all of them are good. All of them are sweet. I promise you, you will have a good time. So even if you don't make it to a place where I am, still go to one of his concerts. Like it was, it. I I ain't seen that. I ain't experienced anything. Like it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Just the energy of the audience, man. And I think that's because of probably the audience that he attracts. Um, and it was just, it was bomb. Can't wait to see you in, yay, Kansas City. I can't wait to see you either. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, hey, from Detroit. Keep pushing through. Hey, uh, chit chat with QT. Um, I am going to keep pushing through. Like, y'all know I'm very, I'm very much so like I show y'all the good from the out the gate since day one, since y'all met me in this arena. And, you know, <laughs> I've been straight up and down out the gate. Like, I'm going to show you the good. I'm going to show you the bad. I'm going to show you the ugly. I'm going to give that all to you. And I think that's one of the main reasons that I'm able to connect with so many of you. I think you guys really appreciate, you know, having someone who's keeping it a hundred and transparent. Um, and so that hasn't changed for me from 2018 to 2023. It has not changed for me. So when I post about pushing through, I could keep that to myself if I want to, but no, I'm going to let y'all know how it really is. Like sometimes, um, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I literally, um, have to still push through. Um, I have to decide and make up in my mind, like, you know what, no matter what I'm going to push through. That's why I have a discount code right now, just in case y'all don't know, um, for 30% off all of seventh Avenue's products, sweatshirt, t-shirts, 30% off. And the code is pushed through. And I hope that in my transparency yesterday, telling y'all how I was feeling, that you guys pulled something from that too. If you're here and you're going, you're going through anything, the enemy's trying to stop you, trying to hinder you, trying to distract you, um, trying to have you on an emotional roller coaster, listen, push through. Because it's so easy to just cancel and say, okay, I'm not going to do that because my mind isn't in the right space or I'm not emotionally there to do what I need to do. No, 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 no. Push through through because that is exactly what the enemy wants you to do the the enemy wants to stunt your growth the enemy doesn't want to see you reach your full potential the enemy doesn't want you to see you live out your purpose because if you live out your purpose you're showing and especially if you're a kingdom kid right you're showing that by way of your belief by way of your faith that you can do anything and the enemy don't like that so you literally have to push through. And um, I was talking to somebody yesterday or day before. I literally booked my dancer's tickets and my tickets the day before last Thursday. So, yeah, I literally did. I booked it the day before. So, um, because I was like, mm, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. And then I was like, that, that push through mindset came in and kicked in. Like, look, this is what you've been doing. You've been pushing through. You've been showing up. You've been going out, speaking, encouraging people, even though you may just cry right before you hit the stage or right on your way to wherever the destination was for that particular speaking engagement. And it's like, okay, you've been pushing through. You ain't about to not push through now. And so I had to, and sometimes you do have to remind yourself because see, here's the thing. God has done so much for all of us. God has brought all of us already through so much. And sometimes we forget and we have to remind ourselves because sometimes we forget who we serve, right? We forget all the things that God has done for us and how God has upheld us. And sometimes we just have to be reminded. Sometimes God had to say, ain't I the same God that did X, Y, and Z five years ago? Ain't I the same God that did X, Y, and Z 10 years ago? Whether that was if you didn't know how your light bill was going to get paid. Whether that was if you didn't know your car broke down. You didn't have the funds to get another car. Whether that was your health was declining and you ain't know what to do. Sometimes God literally has to remind you, but aren't I the same God that did whatever it is for you? X, Y, and Z five years ago, 10 years ago, two years I'm the same God today. So 
that comes from having that mindset, right? And um, being open, being open to receive, um, to receive and be reminded when the spirit starts reminding you, right? Being open to receive that. And so what I would say, hold on, wait. See, this is in the back of my mind. I'm sorry. This is that this is that overthinker part side of me. I'm sorry. Hold on. When was that concert? The concert was what's the day? Today is Wednesday. I performed on Sunday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me break it even down even more because I said on Thursday. So I booked the tickets then on Saturday because it was the day before the concert. There we go. Sorry, like that was just in the back of my mind. Like, what's that Thursday? My days we ran together. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> nevertheless, y'all heard what I said. All that happened the day before because I literally was well, yeah it was Sunday. Thank you. So I booked them on Saturday. It was literally hotel book, flight book Saturday, everything booked Saturday. Dancers hit up Friday night, I think it was. So it literally, my point is, literally, I pushed through at the last minute. The last minute, and the receipts will show that. If I ever needed to show y'all, see, oh, she really did book them tickets Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, she didn't know if she was going. Seriously. Um, but I just want to encourage y'all, like, whatever it is you're going after, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, don't let the enemy um, cause you to, you know, not live out your purpose, not work your dream, not, um, you know, reach your full potential. Because that, you know, the enemy tries to break you. And that is what the enemy wants. And you have to make up in your mind that no matter what, no matter what, I'm not giving up, not giving in. I will not be broken. I will be unstoppable. I will be undefeated. Like you have to make that up in your mind and you have to speak that over yourself. And not only that, but then you got to remind, I mean, you got to surround yourself with people who also think that same way. You have to you have to surround yourself with people who also think that same way. See, my team that I have, they've been around me long enough to where they've seen me push through a lot of through a lot of things a lot of times. So it's easy now at this point for them to say to me, "Uh-uh, Mel, mm-mm. No, now let's go on and push through. That's Dawn Michelle. Now let's go on. We finna go on and push through now. Now you know how to push through. I done seen you push through on some stuff. And so you've got to have those kind of people in your life, in your corner. My mom, you know, and my mom, she's very much so like, it's crazy because she wants me to, of course, push through. But at the same time, she wants me to be okay. So <laughs> she kind of is like, yeah, you, gonna, you can push through. I know you can do it. Whatever you decide, you know, I'm going to roll with you with whatever you decide. That's my mom. Um, but you got to have people around you who, who got your back and who are going to remind you too of the times you push through and say come on now now let's go let's go like don't go on and contact the dancers child and then go on and book the flights and because you're right you are absolutely right okay you you are absolutely right <laughs> um so i encourage y'all to push through and you guys know anytime i do a discount code for me, it's a part of the manifestation piece of it. I don't just come up with something just because. It's always something spiritual underneath that. And by way of, because my thing is by way of, every time everybody types in push through, yeah, you get some products, so you get something in return. But every time somebody types in that code push through, you're literally speaking that into your own life. You're literally speaking that into your own situation push through and it's the manifestation piece of it so that's how a lot of times i do my codes and i'm sure by now y'all know that um and so if you have it go over to seventh avenue beauty.net it's in my bio get your face products or your body products or your sugar mama bonda for your baby or your nieces or your nephews um it is for uh baby boys and baby girls so head over there and get it and get your 30 percent off now i'm gonna tell y'all this secret real my battery is low i'm gonna tell y'all this secret really quickly and i gotta go but let me tell you this let me tell you this push through no not t-h-r-e-w t-h-r-o-u-g-h now 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 look now but listen y'all know i gotta be silly too listen
First of all, <laughs> first of all, y'all know I was just live. I want y'all to go check my story in a minute and see what I just put on my story. I'm glad y'all coming back in. Literally, see this is how you know the enemy be upset, boy. The <laughs> we was getting too hot with the word over here because my phone popped up and said temperature. Uh, what did it say? Temperature something. It's too hot. <laughs> long story short i just posted the screenshot i was like what i had to screenshot it i put it in my story now i am in alabama but it ain't 100 degrees out here so how and why my phone will be too hot i don't know i ain't got no whole bunch of apps open i ain't got no whole bunch of um you know look um internet pages open so I don't know why it popped up to my temperature too hot. I believe that I believe we was in here getting it in and the enemy ain't like that either. So go look at my story and see it for yourself. I can't make this up. I was sitting here we was having, we was going in with the word and then this thing, you know, it came up. Somebody said the enemy is heated. Probably. Somebody said probably because you're in the car. No, even in the car. I mean, my temperature right here says 63 degrees. So even in the car. Mm-mm. It ain't too hot. Okay. You right. I wrote, I wore my community mail shirt today. You did. Ah, thanks, Brian. So, um, somebody said, what you saying must be fire. Must have been because look at it. It got a little thermostat on there. It said temperature too hot. Mm, so I'm going to keep speaking. Okay. Anyway. So my point was that I, I think I was making at the time was the importance of pushing through the importance somebody say spiritual warfare always always um and i always tell people when stuff don't make sense in the natural that's how you know it's spiritual because this don't even make sense my thing says 63 degrees it ain't too hot in here i have on a hoodie okay it's not too hot so point is because i guess it's what the enemy don't want y'all to know push through Ladies who are up on here, because y'all know I love my ladies, my beauties, what I call y'all, push through. I don't care what it is that anybody, family, husband, ex-husband, boyfriend, cousin, care who it is, co-worker, who's trying to disrupt what you are supposed to be doing in your life. I don't care who it is, push through. Make up in your mind that nobody's going to win. Make up in your mind that nobody's going to steal your victory. Make up in your mind that nobody's going to hinder your purpose and push through. Because that's going to make the enemy even matter. Even matter. Push through. And if I'm doing it, like I ain't telling y'all nothing to do that I don't do. I promise. I'm not telling y'all anything to do that I don't do. I push through a lot of times. And I have been pushing through for some years now. So I'm saying if I can do it, then you can do it too. And you deserve to push through for you. You're worth pushing through for you because you are that girl. You are important. You are chosen. And you are favored. And that's why the enemy tries to attack you so much. But keep pushing through. Now, I'm finna get ready to go, but look, y'all going over there too. Um, going over there to 7th Avenue Beauty.net. Put push through in there. Get your 30% off. Load up for you, your mama, your aunties, your cousins, your nephews, your, your nieces, baby, body. I was just about to tell y'all a, a little thing that worked for me. So, I was telling y'all I get a pedicure about every two weeks. And what I have learned works for me because I was like, my feet still aren't feeling as soft as I want them to, honey. I get that scrub. Put it on my feet and then I put that body butter on my feet at night. Put my socks on when I go to bed. My feet are soft as all get out, honey. You ain't going to have no trouble rubbing your feet on your significant other. Just know that. There ain't going to be no crunch, 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 crunch when you rubbing it on the covers, on the sheets, or none of that. So, use the scrub on your feet. Put the butter on there. Then put some socks on, honey. Do that for about two, three, about three days. You're going to see what I'm talking about. But I love y'all. I hope y'all have an amazing Y'all heard what I said about pushing through. Y'all heard me. Push through. Push through. No matter what. Push through. That's what we doing. Okay? All right? I love y'all so much. And I hope y'all have a great Wednesday. <laughs> Until next time. What's up? I see y'all. Y'all on here. Y'all laughing. Y'all know I'm silly. But I'm for real though. Um, <laughs> But I love y'all. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> what a message. To know that Mel 
booked her tickets the day before she was scheduled to appear in Connecticut is absolutely amazing. Now, we do know that her and Martell had to go to court last week um, for this child custody battle that she should not be going through in the first place. And you can tell, and she even mentioned that last week was an emotional week. No fit mother, as we've said a thousand times, should have to go through what she's going through. And it seems like, just my opinion, I'm not sure if there were anything else that was going on, but it seems like that was the reason that caused her to maybe not even want to appear for that concert. But she pushed through. Like I said, Mel is gifted. The other cast members on the show should definitely take note. This is one of the reasons, just one, why a lot of us, the majority of us, are so drawn to Mel. Because in spite of what she's went through in the past, what she's going through currently, she continues to push through. She continues to motivate others. And I just absolutely love it. But you guys, make sure to drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this live video. Again, I wanted to share it for those that may have missed it. And if you saw it live, I did see a lot of subscribers. Keontae, Pamela, I saw a lot of you. Drop down in the comments. Let's chit chat. Talk with you soon. Bye.